Hello everyone, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. This time, we're starting with the game Materialization of Memories. This is weird, and I'm not sure what to think about this game. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure if it would have grabbed me or not, had I not been reached out to by the developer in my email, uh, who offered the key and said basically, judging on your channel, you might be interested in this unusual game of furry characters, and it is indeed a furry game. I'm not sure what to say about it. Uh, in the process of simply setting up for this video, I've run into some really odd issues, or just w weird situations, like how the game doesn't detect as a game, and how the key configuration makes absolutely no sense to my brain, and how this is an RPG, and yet there isn't controller support, so I just spent some time joy to key in the weird controls. I think we're good now. Uh, it's apparently a survival horror game, specifically, uh, but I think it's using an RPG Maker type engine. So, it's furry. It does see, kind of seem interesting, but also the vibes are really weird of this one already. So, I'm going to see what we got here. Maybe it'll be a bit of a hidden gem. Uh, so, let's let's take a look. The developer did reach out, give me a key, which is, I appreciate that. Thank you, Evan, uh, for that dev. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this and see what we have here, because I have no idea what to expect. Um, of course, before we begin... If you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether lurk or talk, think about doing so, because it does make a big difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links are in the description, and you can check them out at your leisure. Uh, but yeah, let's check out this game, Materialization of Memories. Even the, even the title of the game is weird. Look at the side HUD there. Look at how I put it in the uh, title of the stream, if you're watching on the stream. I didn't capitalize Memories because the dev didn't either. That looks really weird, but that's just how it's, like, pronounced and stuff. So, uh, let's fire into this. I have no idea what, what we're getting ourselves into. I mean, here, let me show you the YouTube. Look at this control screen for just a second for keyboard config. I think I have a functional uh, joy to key controller layout, but this is so bizarre. <laughs> I just have to point this out in the actual video. Uh, like, you know, Q and W for page up, page down. R for ammo, I assume, reload. Three different shoot keys tied to letters and L, A, M. Uh, uh, insert is the cancel key. I, well, who... Who in their right mind makes insert the cancel key? You know, confirm and cancel, the typical keys you press in an RPG or whatever. Why insert? <laughs> Why? I don't really understand. But yeah, I have it on the controller now, so it should make enough sense here. Let's start up. Research Institute. I missed the title. That that was very fast. Oh yeah, I think everyone's circle. I don't know. Is this circle? No. Maybe? I don't know. Tell me what species this is, everyone. Well, where is he? Maybe he went to the bathroom. No, they're like sharks. Are they sharks? Are they shark people? Where are they? It's more likely he went to the canteen to waste food. Hi, I went to the canteen to waste food. Why aren't you on duty? I went to the bathroom. Why don't you lock the front door then? Okay, could you go to the test room for a few minutes? I need to do a little experiment. That sounds really sus when you put it that way. Can't leave my post. He just left. Just close the door and come with us. No one will know. If you want, I'll bring you something tomorrow. I'd rather eat something good. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Alright, good. Glad this is all in order. So this is like a furry game, but I think there's only one species. That's a nice little dialogue sound. Why, why are you going to do an experiment on him? Why not on the test subjects? It's from my research paper. I'm not allowed to log it. I need someone who hasn't been in the emitter before. Alexander, you don't mind, do you? No, I don't care. Do experience on me. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? So, so this is a survival horror game. It's fine. But why'd you bring her in? So you record your medical parameters before and after the experiment. She'll also be able to help you if you get hurt. And say you might need help. I don't think it'll be necessary. Just a precaution. Like, I has no protest. Like, oh, I'll, maybe I'll get hurt. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Alexander, go to that room and stand in the square in the center. Don't get off of it yet. I won't, if don't get off it yet, I won't tell you. What is that? What does that sentence mean? <laughs> Don't get off again. I won't tell you. Again? Marna, can you? I'll wait here. Okay, then let's do it. Alright, cool. What are we doing? 
Does anybody know what species we're looking at here, by the way? What are these creatures? They're furry. They're clearly a species of some sort I've seen before. I know. They look familiar. I don't think the Steam page says anything about this. Let's see. Nope. I got nothing. Huh. One of the taglines for this game is, one of the, one of the uh, bullet points for it is, enemies whose characteristics are difficult to immediately understand. Huh. <laughs> okay. Um, someone knocked out the calibration. That's okay. I'll calibrate it myself. They do look like sharks. Don't they? They have a shark vibe, right? The tails look. Don't, they don't look quite right, but for that, but I don't know. I remember there should be a green setting. They're all green, so it should be dark green. Oh, am I doing a puzzle? They are all green, so it should be dark green. I mean, the darkest one's the third one, I suppose. Three thirty. Ouch, I'm blind! Yeah, that was the right button, I think. No, it's power- No, it's power out! <laughs> That's weird. It shouldn't be like that, even if I did something wrong. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Maybe it's like the uh, power plant. Look closely, the room has changed. <laughs> Look closely, the You know, if if I had the- if, 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 if the- if the, uh, if the environment suddenly got broken, like if I was a building and started cracking or something, I would also say, Look closely, the room has changed! <laughs> That's definitely how I'd point it out. All right, here's our party. Can I shoot? Oh shit! I see. Right. When you're using Joy to Key, I need to have the mouse on on the actual active screen, or problems occur. I just remember that. Uh, so here we go. Alvis, Alexandra, Marna. They really got that anthro look, where it looks like. You know, there, there's two ways to do anthro characters. There's two ways to do anthro furries, right? This is an oversimplification, but just go with it for now. Um, there's two ways to do anthro furries. The way where you actually add, like, the animalistic structure of, of the character alongside, not just on, like, head or tail or stuff, but, like, the body structure also shows some of those animalistic traits. And then you got the anthrotypes where it's a human, but you put a different head on it. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. But let's see. I have a pistol. That's a pistol. Small caliber self loading pistol brand Pog. It's a Pog pistol. Great. That's perfect for Twitch. A book where goals and tutorial are written down. Sure. Oh, it's Chris Elvis. An individual stereo brushy bag designed to provide first aid and stop the Okay, so I got a whole bunch of random stuff here. Uh, an outdated regular means of providing assistance in case of injuries or damage by anomalous influences. Exit 8. Anomalous influences, exit 8. <laughs> exit 8 has approached another stream? No. Uh, completely removes the effects of poisoning. Okay. What are these, like, side things? Like, it says bandage on the side. It says, why does it display the item on the right as well? That's interesting. Get her infection. Spells a surgical gift for treatment of wounds. Only can use of surgical skill. Okay. Ammo. 36 ammo. We have a lot of ammo. Uh, tea in a bottle. Very nice. I'm drinking tea out of a can. Uh, Chiffer. What? Tea concentrate. Harmful to health, but gives a lot of power. Is that, a, is that Russian on that tea? Is that Russian tea? Russian tea. Harmful to health. Russian tea. <laughs> Stew! Canned white meat. Canned well meat! Canned well meat. Alzer eats only them as a rule. Ah, uh, he's a... He's a... Uh, Carnitarian? I don't know. <laughs> like, what do you call a vegetarian, but they only eat meat? Alexander's shirt seems to say goose in a Slavic language of your choice. Well, the, I think the, uh, the Steam page mentioned that this is... Not specifically based on one country, but is based on. Oh, I'll just read it again. Based on. Set in an alternate world reminiscent of the late socialist countries. 
So yeah, we got Slav Jank here. <laughs> what else we got? We got skills? Okay, keep distance. Okay, we'll, we'll figure this out in, in battle. Oh, some of these can be just done out of battle. Okay. Increases accurate and gives critical damage for 100 steps and ends after combat. I see there. This is... Increases party defense by 50% for 300 steps. This appears to take damage to combat. Okay. Okay, so there's like abilities we can use. There's actually quite a few. I will not risk myself in vain. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about the others? Siri. Ah, oh, yes. I also love the special ability series of blows. Very good. Very powerful. Risky. Okay. What about her? She got first aid. She's important. Wait, can she use these without the tools? Like, does she require the tools of my inventory for that? Or... <laughs> Guys! Listen, Elvis and Alexander, they have a lot of special abilities. But you know what a special ability Marna has? Female. <laughs> she has the special ability of female. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> I'd like to note the others do not have the special ability of male. Females only gets only females get special abilities based on their gender. I guess. <laughs> she does not get... Oh, that's not actually accurate. Because of the female anatomy, she does not get stunned after receiving a blow to the groin. That is not true. If you kick somebody in the crotch, it doesn't matter what gender it is, that fucking hurts. Sorry, but like, no, that actually kind of disables everyone. Um, Overcoat. So I can equip the pistol. I don't think I have anything else to equip. Detector? Okay, we're in a Slavic game. There's something involving anomalies, and I have a detector option. Are we just playing Stalker now? <laughs> I think we're playing Stalker, maybe. Furry Stalker? Perhaps? I guess we'll find out. So it's, it said that this guy was the best with pistols, or something. So he actually starts with... I guess he does have a higher stat for attack. Well, she has the highest stat for attack, though. What did I, well, she has a weapon. Of, she has a scalpel. I guess I'll just let her have that, I guess. All right, this guy gets the... I guess this guy gets the pistol. Okay. Create. I love creating things. Oh, it's actually recipes. Wow, guys, look. I, guys, I'm so good at the game. I just started. I've barely done anything, but I've already gotten 48% of the recipes. Look at me go. Aren't I, aren't I smart? All right, let's see. okay. I think I think we're good here. Wait, how do I save? Is the last major question, which is a okay. I can't save in the menu, so it must be elsewhere. Oh, now he has. Now he actually. <laughs> I like how I, I equipped Alex with a pistol, so now he's just holding the main character at gunpoint. <laughs> great. Oh my god. Yeah, maybe uh, it's great we, that you have the pistol grip and you got it ready to go, but maybe don't <laughs> don't maybe always point it at your compatriot until you need it. It's like okay. I feel like this is I feel like this is a uh, uh, like a being hostage escorted now. <laughs> oh, metal parts three x x three dash x. Yeah, I don't know what we're playing, Krasovs. This was actually a game. Normally, I how for an hour I, I pick out games from what I'm interested in and I ask the developer for a key and then I see if I can get one. But this mm -hmm. was actually a developer reaching out to me individually because I cover furry games. And they made a furry game. I'm not sure what to say about this one. This one has the weirdest controls. I don't know what keyboard this makes sense, but the insert key was the cancel key. Oh my god. I don't know what keyboard layout that makes sense in, if any. This is fairly clearly an RPG Maker type game. What is that? <laughs> yeah. It's obviously not broken wire. Don't get too close. Also, can't, we can't decide. Are these shark people? Their faces make me think Sergal, but they have the sharky tail things. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's sharky. Yeah. This is a materialization effect, isn't it? Is this what? If this has happened here, why wasn't there an evacuation announcement? It's a phenomenon they have learned to anticipate a long time ago, and as if the premises have aged a couple of years. Oh, we time traveled. That's cool. Maybe we're in the future. This is unlikely. The emitter, even at full power, cannot form a zone of materialization to even time shift. No one allowed me to conduct such an experiment. What, sir? Developer, you're writing dialogue where the characters are saying things I don't get because I, I, I just started. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I feel like those lightning bolts are about to rush our... Those aren't lightning bolts. Those are little waves of energy. Don't panic. I've been in zones before when I was doing research. Just do as I say. This is Stalker. This guy wanted to make, like, a Stalker game in RPG Maker, but also furry. This is, like, we got we got the fucking Eastern Block setting. We got the, we got the anomalies. <laughs> this is so Stalker. Go pack. I've been in zone before when I was doing research. Just do as I say. And the first thing I ask, Alexander, get your gun ready. If you're a, sec you're a security guard, you should have a gun. He does. I think I left it on the table. Oh, no, there it is. I figured that stuff out. Oh, hold page down to skip down. Like, press, hold shift for a slow step. Okay. So the thing is, I don't think this is actually an RPG, or maybe it is. Like, the controls look... Like, there's skills like an RPG, but, like, I think... Ow. I assume. I took a very small amount of damage. I can just cross that. That's not that bad. I don't know why everybody's being such a wuss about that. <laughs> I took one damage by stepping on one tile. That's not too bad. Uh oh, I f oh no, there's a evil crystal. It also hurt. No, actually, I think it drained. That uh, slowly drains energy. Box. Don't care. Give me stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Just shrug it off, guys. It's all good. So, okay, I'm just going to cross this. I don't know why they're so worried. Mm -hmm. anybody, has anybody played the Stalker games? I played a couple. Not to completion. Oh no, I there's another. Played, but I don't remember. <laughs> oh no, this is also an anomaly, or maybe some maybe there's just a lot of soap scum in the fucking shower area, I don't know. <laughs> Ow. That may have hurt a bit more. Oh, I'm poisoned now. That's cool. Okay, maybe that actually matters a little bit. Okay, maybe don't touch the, the actual <laughs> I like, you know, Stalker kind of spread out its anomalies. Didn't stuff three in one area immediately upon starting the game. But, okay. That's fine. Can I, uh, heal that? Uh... <laughs> I misread this little quote at the end for the injury treatment. I set a record for the speed of suturing late recently. I read that as, I set a record for the speed of stuttering lately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I don't know how they'll poison. Is it just permanent or? Oh yeah, infection. Oh, I'm sorry, I got infected. Okay. I'm just gonna let her wear off. I only have one. God, what the hell is that thing? Such creatures appear based on the emotions and experience of those who've lived in the place where the zone was formed. There may be mutants, or they may be something quite amorphous. Okay, maybe in like plain English, because it's like probably gonna attack us. I know the most dangerous among them are the intelligent ones. I personally have not seen. I hope I, we will not see. Dude, it's crawling over there. <laughs> the dialogue difference between these characters. Well, I could edify you on these uh, topics. Blah, 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 blah. And like other guys like, yeah, it's crawling over there. <laughs> okay, so I can shoot while on the map. Oh, and so there's like in-game. There's like uh, probably a turn-based combat, but you can get like a... Uh... I see. Turn-based combat with a weapon ammo clip. The character gives shock skill. Normal attack would mean hit with the battle weapon. Okay, so... It just occurred to me, I don't think I ever set a key for... I, yeah, I forgot to set a key for ammo. I'm just going to quickly hop over to join a key and add that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll do. So I can hit that to see the ammo, I guess? Alright. Okay, so... Ah, I see. Well, if I set things correctly, I believe it's, uh, I'm still poisoned, right? Where is that thing? There it is. Uh oh, oh, it saw me. Okay, good. The shoot button didn't work. <laughs> okay. Got to make characters for the battle screen. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Uh, blind? Sure, let's blind it. Here's a blows, why not? And heal yourself. Very good. <laughs> oh no, it took a bite out of an apple. It also hurt me. 
Leech body? Leech bottom. Leech bottom. <laughs> okay. My options for, for attacking. You know what's really annoying? You see how I can like select different parts? Um, when I press right, I select the leech body. When I press left, I select the leech bottom. Do you realize how annoying that is? <laughs> <laughs> so I press left to go on, to select the right segment. I press right to select the left segment. I'm just going to casually heal, I guess. I don't know, I missed. <laughs> that animation. Oh, the enemies even have multiple damage states. There seems to be a lot of artwork put into this. I like it. Oh, hey, good. So I had to have uh, dinner. I noticed that. Wow, it's attacking exclusively Marna. It just wants Marna dead. Series of blows. Slap it. Remove a negative effect for teammate during combat. Deals damage to a red target. Uh, sure. Why is it think it's still alive? It, it was already critically bleeding, and then I did a, a fuck ton of damage to it. It's just okay, apparently. Normally, if you see an enemy like get weak, oh, 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 it's dead. But I gotta attack oh. its butt, so that part needs to die too. <laughs> what the heck, were you? The butt is always uh, the most important part. What if it wakes up? The butt's alive. Okay, it's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the hill. Well, it was definitely killing the healer. Perform an autopsy. Sure, why not? I don't have power to do that right now. Oh, you what? don't. That's true. I'd love to know how to heal. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Are you still infected? You you went the entire battery infected. I was. I've I just been. I've just slowly died. I figured it would wear off eventually. Oh yeah. Wait, is it one of these? It gives a lot. Of... I just realized harmful to health, but gives a lot of pover. I assume pover is what I need. Hold on. Pover. Yeah, that, that pover worked. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, I want to perform an autopsy, but there we go. Now she has the pulver to do it. I received a creature report. Cool. Where is that? <laughs> Wait, it's probably the diary, actually. Leech? Oh, no, it's just its own report. Leech report. A huge slimy creature capable of secreting a poison substance. Sometimes they attack groups. Huh. That's a lot of information. Right. Huh. All I know is it's, it's a leech. It does poison. So what button is actually the pistol? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? What the hell? Did you just shot Oh, shit! <laughs> I just shot my character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I found the right button for it. That's good. Should probably stop wasting ammo, but... Oh, it's a shark. I thought the middle one was a Vaporeon for some reason. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everybody's a shark. I'm not sure. Now, step forward. Look closely at the place where the tiles are the floor broken. It's really perceptible pulsate. You could die if you get in one of those. You have to look forward carefully. You can't see anything there. Why are you yelling? How's I supposed to notice it? Also, I like how he said stop, but he's like leading the group. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess they could push past yeah. him, but still. I have a device at home that allows you to identify such places with sound. If we find it, then our chances of surviving and getting out will increase. It's only a couple blocks away. Let's go there now. I think you just want to go get to your what you want to get to your own thing. I know you're willing to kill yourself for your inventions, but don't drag us down with you. What? I just want to get out of here. It won't be anytime soon. We don't know the exact size of the zone. Maybe it'll only cover the billion, which I doubt. Or maybe the whole island. Or maybe the neighbors too. The island neighbors. We'll come, we'll come out and see. Don't think so globally. Yes, but first we have to go get the device. I live in the Talos house of the neighborhood, and in the front of the roof it's easier to assess the cr criticality of the situation. That's how people talk. Aha, uh -huh, if we have to go far, it'll really happen us. Going out again. All right, I hope there's at least a lunch break. This dialogue feels... Why are they trying to have some funny levity mixed in with, Oh no, the end of the world, everything's serious, do not move, but I want lunch. It's not even that. It's, it's just I'm looking at the dialogue, and I'm just thinking to myself... 
None of these characters sound natural. What is that fucking noise? <laughs> Am I dying? Is something killing me again? Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, I'm dying. Brewing. No, there's brewing. Oh, there's there's coal crystals and they're killing me. That's not very nice. So, they took the stalker concept but made it really annoying. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> it's it's like stalker, but if you've ever played a stalker game, the anomalies can fuck you the fuck up. But the thing is, they're fairly spaced out. They're hard to see. And tend to activate, they tend to get like more obvious if you approach them. So basically, there's something like you have to keep your eyes peeled when you're far away from them. But if you get close to them, you'll notice them. But of course, then it's a little dangerous because you're close to them. Um, but the thing is, the anomalies were fairly spread out. So you always had to keep on your toes for them in those games. But they weren't around every fucking quarter. So this game is dumping them around every fucking quarter. So it's not. It's not. I feel like this designer does not understand why the uh, stalker anomalies work so well. Oh god, I could sense just the <laughs> enormous amount of sass from Marna from that stance. <laughs> just car arms. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give this guy a hatchet. He can bury it or something. I don't know. <laughs> um. So we can go up the stairs out of the basement, but. Um. It was this way. They wanted me to go this way, which is why I basically was like, I'm not going this way. Oh, for a second I thought they were holding tails for some reason. <laughs> Alright, I opened that one. But there's a, there's a uh, room over the, here I didn't go into, so... The dark one is clearly holding you hostage. Oh, I just realized, too, the game starts really obnoxiously <laughs> because the game is starting with this really obnoxious lighting effect, which is lovely. I love not knowing where I'm going right off the bat when it, as soon as I start playing a game. I guess they're trying to do an atmosphere. Oh, oh, that is actually the direction I have to go. So wait a minute. I thought what? by walking across the damage floors, I was just sequence breaking or something because I was thinking to myself, there's no way they do force damage at the very beginning of the game before I even have myself situated. But no, this right here is force damage. You have to cross this. That's so Wee. dumb. The game starts with force damage. Listen, force damage is... Oh, I walked through that thing by accident. Oh, well, I'm even more dead now. Maybe if I could see where I was fucking going. Wow, these managers suck. Uh -oh. Can you use, like, a minus skill into somehow, I don't know. Uh, yeah, if I... But only only Alexandra eats stew, though, so... I know. see. Hi. Except for she can eat it, too. Never mind. <laughs> Let them all eat freaking ramen. Oh, whatever. I touched people up a little bit. It's all good. I don't think there's a specific personality trait to eating ramen. I've already used all my items, but I don't really care. It's fine. Oh, the poison wore off at some point. That's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot carbon does absorb poison good. But yeah, this so the game starts with force damage, a lot of things that like automatically hurt you if you don't notice them, and a darkness effect, which has got at least better on the second floor. But I get you're trying to set a mood, but like you just started the game in the most obnoxious way with very cardboardy written cart characters as well. There might be a language barrier reason. Maybe the English is bad Where because is that of that. Guys? Be quiet. It's quiet. <laughs> be quiet. It's quiet. Be quiet. One moment later. Good. It's quiet <laughs> because you went quiet. <laughs> Like you said, be quiet, it's quiet. You see what I mean? Like, the dialogue is just like, what the hell is the dialogue doing? It's not like it's, it's not like there's like a million spelling errors and stuff. It's just, the way it's written is so stilted. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Be, the, the whole of their interaction was, the door is closed, be quiet. And then the other person's going, it's quiet. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you told me to be quiet. That's why it's quiet, dumbass. <laughs> Also, this kind of does a... The anomaly thing works in a... Stalker is a first-person shooter. Oh, kind of open-world first-person shooter. So you could avoid anomalies and keep an eye out for them. I don't think I don't think the anomaly system works quite as well in this format. Especially considering in an RPG... Um, like, for instance, like, there's... Sometimes I'm going to walk into anomalies wanting to check them out to see if they're important for something, you know? That's going to happen, so... Yeah, rich is better. I thought. Oh, less agility though. It's heavy, I guess. Okay. Sure. Oh, that's a Gordon Freeman. 
like keeping oh, your eyes peeled. In, keeping your eyes peeled in a first-person shooter for little things can be interesting, but I don't think it works really well in this format. Com I Play thought that was director of the game for a second. Complaint to director. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I'd like to know to read a key item, I need to select it, then select the character, and then I can read it. That's kind of weird, but all right. I need specifically this character to read this. Like, okay. When you talk to Alves I I Ikemov, his great promise, but that's no reason to break the rules. Conducts experience without logging in and on anyone, even himself. And there are his text subjects for that. He doesn't get it. Remind him of his hands. In one of his experiments, he almost lost all of his fingers. Give him a hint the next time. It might not just be fingers. What? That is such a confusingly Wait, written... Why? That's oh such a God. confusingly <laughs> written threat. Like, if I if I was a henchman that got this, I'd be like, Boss, are you, are you telling me to cut off one of his fingers as, as a, like, a threat? You're telling me to cut off all his fingers as a threat? What are you telling me to do? Like, <laughs> what are you... His fingers. Like, like, that is the it most confusingly be, written, oh. like... Give him a message. It's like, what's the fucking message, though? Oh, dead people. Okay. His gun was broken by hand. I see figured that's of the case. What? Just look at them. Yeah, I know, right? Hey, look. <laughs> Thanks for doing exactly what I asked you to. His oh my arm. God. It was ripped off. What kind of power does it take to? They're saying in the hall. What could have done that? What is this mess of a conversation? <laughs> Me! <laughs> it's just me! Evil red eye guy! Oh my oh god. Are, <laughs> are you here to evacuate us? Yeah, I'm sure he's just here to help. Me. That's why he has the evil red eyes. No. Do you understand, you understand us? us? I totally understand. Stay away. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> uh, this is getting really effective, like when people uh, are in like, a mic booth and like recording uh, their I mean, the movie, and no one knows what the other's saying. I I believe what we're I think is we're this at the Ruby's Quest Undertow. <laughs> no, I don't think it's quite the highest quality. I don't think it's quite the same quality as Ruby Quest Undertow. That game got was a finish, but it had better writing. Um. <laughs> No, I, I, no, there's actual effort put into this. I can see the effort put into this, but my god. So I think what's happening right now, because this isn't... I, I don't know what engine this is using, but this is definitely RPG Maker. Um, I think what is going on right now is... I haven't pressed any inputs. I believe this guy is going to chase us, hurt us, encounter, battle with us, etc. Yeah. However, that but can't yeah, trigger yeah, until I start hurt. moving. Because in RPG Maker, there's situations where an event needs to trigger by an event hitting... Uh, basically... Basically, everything is an event, aside from the player. But the player is just a form of event. Um, but, like, an NPC walking around, that's an event. It's just a mobile event. So, this event, this character is a mobile event. But, we're sitting right next to them when we exited a cutscene. So, yeah. the way a mobile event triggers things in RPG Maker, typically, is it runs into the player. But the thing is, he already did during the cutscene. So, he needs to run into me to trigger whatever the fuck he does. But since we're already saying next to each other, he can't. <laughs> yeah. So I need to move away, and then he can do whatever he's wanting to do. So let's see if I'm right about that. I feel uh, like everyone's improving. Wait. Or the game is actually frozen. Oh, Cherry! From all sides. Cherry breaks game. <laughs> oh no! I think I know what. It's not like frozen. It's not frozen. No, it's not frozen. Yeah, okay, you know what I think happened? What uh, is this music? It's music. Hold on a second. Alright, are you gonna I'm gonna restart the game? But I'd like to I'd like to note though that, that I checked the menu if I the moment I started the game I checked the menu to see how I could save the game. Did not see the options. I believe there are save points in the game. But mm. I never ran into one. Oh. So I don't have I just have to select new game again. Cause there was no you know, there was no save after the... Mm -hmm. Another another cardinal sin, by the way. Not only force damage, not only immediately dropping the player to darkness. I still love RQU. Best story for a horror game I've ever played. <laughs> Ruby Quest was quite interesting. It's a shame it didn't get finished, but I understand why Fitchell uh, dropped it all yeah. too. But, um... Yeah, force damage right at the beginning. Uh, but also, like, 
Having a player go through a cutscene set, and then not letting them save, and then putting them into perilous situations where they can give over. That's dumb. Let the player save their goddamn game after the intro, you know? Even games with much, with much less uh, dangerous situations for the start of the game, uh, like games that start you out in a nice peaceful town or something, will usually let you immediately save after the opening. <laughs> yep. So. After a little longer hacking cute scene. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I actually have to solve puzzles. Too. Like, it's the same puzzle, probably. So I just like the same oh. thing. <laughs> but okay. I mean, okay, I gotta fight the leech again. Let's say juke it. I could try Me. to juke it. This is dropping a quality like a freaking tent. Well, right off the bat, the game gave me really weird vibes, and I was like, I don't know if this is gonna be put together well. I wasn't trying to make assumptions on it until I checked, but yeah. Actually, if I recall correctly, if I come down somewhere here, I can get, uh, yeah, 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 shut up. Also, the dialogue implies that you shouldn't cross that, but you literally have to. So a player that is trying to be obedient to the game structure would probably try to avoid crossing it, but that's exactly what you need to do. <laughs> like, it's... I say good because now when I murder this, now when I fight this thing, I actually have a weapon on Al Alvis. So <laughs> that was part of the reason I was trying to juke it. And uh, who shoots again? You do. Okay. Me. Green guy. Can't even fucking see. If I'm waiting for it to light up. You won't end up shooting yourself again, will you? I shot it. Okay, I shot me. it. Yes. It's stuck. I killed it. <laughs> okay, okay, so I don't actually have to do the Trinity's battle system. I just need to get enemies nice. stuck in the areas they can't cross and then shoot repeatedly. <laughs> okay, because I know. I wonder if I still get proper... Gaming. I mean, that was way more profitable to my health bar not being dropped by the fight, you know? So that, that worked out. Okay, so will we have another freeze? Uh, you know what? You know what? I know what happened. I know what fucking happened. I know. You want to know why it froze? It's because I was not positioned correctly for the event. The event yeah. that was not a game crash. I've seen this before. If if an event is trying to run, if if an event that has previously locked the player's motion or functionality of the menu and stuff is trying to run before it un then unlocks and lets the player do things again. If the event gets stuck, it's basically a soft lock. It's more or less freezing yeah. the game. Um, I wonder if it, like the event was like it, maybe because of the two other characters was in front of them, it didn't came to like the main player. Maybe well, that's exactly what I wanted to point out. Did you notice how I actually walked to the right of the event and then I walked back and triggered the event? Did you notice that? Yeah. I don't think I was supposed to walk past the trigger the first time. Uh, <laughs> so I think what the guy did, I wanted, I, you know, I wish I could save and test this. Like I could, I could save and then check the event and then save again. But I think what happened is a very simple, very stupid thing. You notice how this this hallway has like one, two, three spaces you can walk through, right? It's it's three vertically tall. I can walk through three yeah. vertically tall. So here's the thing. I don't know why they did this, but what they probably did was only place the event on like one or two of the tiles and not all three. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. literally, so it's a, it's an important event. The player is supposed to trigger that they just didn't cover the entire hallway with <laughs> there, that, that tile. I think I walked one tile below previously. Oh my God. So now I'm facing the correct direction. The event probably will work properly this time. Yeah. See, see, he had to step forward one more step. He had to step forward one more step to start the battle, <laughs> oh and he couldn't God. because my characters were in the way because I was <laughs> positioned differently. So he couldn't walk forward, and it was a soft lock. We we we. This guy looks real smug. All right, let's just uh, blind him. And it smells like alcohol, apparently. 
Over drinking. Wait. Wait, grasping. <laughs> He's just gonna bite him, I guess. Okay, 100 damage sounds nice. Oh, wait, hold on. Nibble, nibble. Will I bite his legs? Does he have a Molotov cocktail? His head, or his hands, or his body. I'm gonna bite his... Well, actually, first off, can I... Does the blind hit everything? The blind hits bite everything. Bite his okay. I'm gonna bite his oh, fucking oh legs. <laughs> Start with legs. Yes, like a good doggo. Attack on the legs. <laughs> rocket. He hit me with a rocket. Not he shot a rocket at me, but... Oh, that's... <laughs> just. Oh, is this one of those... Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my okay. god. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait! I'd like to know if the middle character fell down and they're just kind of- they look like they're lounging on a couch. Like, all right, I'm ready for you to paint me like your French girls. The left guy literally just <laughs> planked fall- like, it looks like he's in a stand animation still. He's like, eh, eh. And the other lady- the lady's just like, face plant. Hold on. I just noticed it. He's wearing a bomb vest and he has a Molotov cocktail. Meow. Yeah, so that's a rocket in his hand, and it was used as a melee weapon for some fucking reason. It's not even interesting with you. I expected real resistance. There's no lust for life in you, except for that green one. Why that? Why was that one different? Come on, get up! What do you want from us? Is it my goal obvious, dearie? Alcohol. I came here looking for alcohol. This is why I murder everyone. <laughs> if I don't find him, I'll go into a real rage. Him? Mr. Alcohol? Of alcohol Mr. fame. <laughs> yeah. I will drain the blood. I will drain the blood and shit out of you. And I will drive the alcohol out of you. What the hell are you saying? <laughs> okay. Where does this alcohol come from in the body? Apparently it doesn't oh have anything to do with the blood or the shit. Uh, it's somewhere else then. This is what they mean by piss drunk. Alright. Uh, this should definitely be alcohol on the second floor in the room with the red door. The movie ass and ring it. I'll be, and I'm waiting. The fuck is going on? I'm waiting. I'm phases waiting. out of existence. Phases out of existence. Mara, you're a doctor. You have surgical skills. Treat our wounds. Give me a motor recovery. Okay. All right. The three of the surgical saline. Mara can treat serious. Okay. That. Wow, that does not look that serious, actually. But we look beat the fuck up regardless. Like we're, we're one third of our health. I guess that's a fair amount of damage. We're bloodied. Uh, so what do I want to use? This one? You should be given an IV, Alex? Cool. Nobody. I mean, we're all bleeding too, so I gotta like... Suture that shit. Alex? Is this working? It doesn't look like it's doing anything, but... I, right. I, I mean, yeah, did, Alex did, doesn't have a yeah. scar on his cheek anymore. Yeah. Oh, I guess it is working then. Okay. Oh, it's... it's okay. Hey, the pants oh, magically fuck. repaired themselves. Yeah. It's like the wrong... It's like... Well, it is... A, she is... It's using a suture. I guess you can suture the clothes. We have nothing... To, I accidentally didn't heal her. <laughs> I selected the wrong option. Through her in particular. Good. Oh! No! Wait, wait, hold on. 30 energy. Hold on a second. 30 energy, right? Please. Use Selene Transfusion. 20 energy. We don't have anything to put a drip in. Okay, it does give you back the energy. I thought I was losing the energy despite not being able to do it. <laughs> um, I'll, just give, I'll just put a bandage yes. on her. That, that'll stop the bleeding, right? It says it will. What kind of shitty bandage? It literally bleed? said it would stop the bleeding. Why is it not? Oh, this restores the movie was bleeding. Oh, except for I can't don't have enough energy. Alright, fucking drink this thing that gives you energy. I thought you almost oh. put the kefir. Hello there, lo fi goth. Mm. And friends, how's everybody doing? Oh. We're trying to figure out this weird ass fur game. Okay, first aid. Are you now it literally said Removes bleeding. Are you, you're still bleeding? Fucking! <laughs> I, I put on a badge. It said it dealt with bleeding. Didn't deal with bleeding. I used first aid skill. Says it deals with bleeding. Didn't deal with bleeding. Fucking game is lying to me repeatedly. I don't know what to trust anymore. 
Oh my I god. I guess she's bleeding then. Fuck it. <laughs> I love how yeah. I like I oh hi. Like the medic is gonna oh, be you have bleeding friends? forever. Don't make me mad. Don't make me mad, look for alcohol or I'll make it out of you. I don't know how you're gonna distill alcohol out of me. Oh shit, I walked on a thing. <sighs> That's such a fun. I like the vi the vision. There's the... no part of you. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna walk over here. I've got this. No part of no part of any of them I think can make it. Despite bleeding, she seems. I thought bleeding would cause damage over time, but she's not damaging over time. So, eh. Oh no! Watch out! See a anomaly of somebody opening a bag of Pringles or a bag of potato chips. That's a very oh, dangerous that's... anomaly. Pringles. Also nice. I'm glad you enjoyed some Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Oh, very good. I don't. I, wait, do I? I'm not sure if I know that game. It's that, a uh... ROM hack. Is that? Mm -hmm. and, and, which one is that? Because there's some billion ROM hacks. I always mix them up. What's that happening? So basically, you can fuse two Pokemon together. Oh right! I think I briefly yeah. checked that out and was thinking about streaming it, but I never actually did. <laughs> it's pretty cool. You can have a full randomizer with it. Nice. So if I end up with a oh, surgical kit, I can fix her bleeding. This game is really just beating me the fuck up. I'd like to know it. It still hasn't given me a, ch a save point. Yeah, yeah, I was about to quest you looking. This game is just like, yeah, we're gonna. You just started the game? Yeah, fuck you. We're gonna force you to take damage. We're gonna actually have a, an unwinnable boss fight that beats awesome. you up. To be, to beats, out, beats you down to two thirds of your life and makes you bleed. You gotta fix that up. And then we're gonna have a bunch of fights. And yeah, you wanna heal? Buddy, you want to save the game, maybe? Oh, yeah, fuck you. Like, <laughs> you can't don't save it for like you. Fuck you. Like, do, do you even know what it is, you mean? Like, a save point? No, I've never been introduced to saves. I have no <laughs> yeah. idea what I'm even looking for. <laughs> yeah. And every time, mind you, mind you, all the, whenever you hear a sound, guys, guys just joining, all these little areas here that make noise, I'm taking damage every time I walk into them. Either losing energy or health. Furry uh, fear and hunger, oh no. Very furry fear oh my god, you're kinda of right. It's like a brutalistic sort of fear and hunger vibe. But it's also mixing that with like stalker. You know, st the stalker shadow Chernobyl, Chernobyl in those games. It's it has anomalies like those, but the anomalies are not interesting like those games. It, because in those games it's the anomalies are interesting because it's a first person shooter and you can like actually keep an eye out, but this is a well, not that. <laughs> what a weird book. It looks like a duty also, log. Charm, I'm really sorry I had to say this. Why does the antagonist look like a freaking My Chemical Romance uh, teen? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that reference. <laughs> I guess we finally found a save point. Oh, a log. Yeah, they're like, oh, we never logged this. I had the same desire. I've heard of these. Those. Are... I've heard of log books. I heard <laughs> things about log books before. I heard that log books are like, yeah, it's a log book, dude. <laughs> it's a log book. Those who signed up for them said that for a short time they became calmer. The fear disappeared. True, there is a risk of psychosis for mood swings, but it's insignificant. What are you talking about? Am what I gonna have? Am I gonna have psychosis by <laughs> using a logbook? Are you trying to say that it may, I may have risk psychosis by logging something in a logbook? Oh okay, it's, it is a. <laughs> it's so peaceful. I wish I could interact with these books more often. You have to look around a bit. But why did you just pick it up on the table? Bring it with you. You can save any time. Oh, hey there, leech. It's the nature of alcohol. It's lethal to drink. It's better if he dies. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so. He did try to kill you guys. Yes. Oh my god. Kill the edgy one! We can do something useful, like say to treat wounds, or we will not last long. You're right, though, with the injury system and the kind of brutalistic style. You're absolutely right, Lo-Fi. I think the developer was inspired by Fear and Hunger as well. I haven't really talked about that game, but I have looked up videos and stuff. It's not streamable. It is extremely graphic. Um, <laughs> but, oh, no. yeah. I hope it's not... Yeah, it breaks several TOS. Mm-hmm. To be fair, though, it does make its mood. It kind of works to its mood. I'll give it that, though. Uh, what it's trying to go for, you know? Yeah. Oh, wow. The, also, we, yeah, I grew up surrounded by logbooks. Yeah. 
I got a shovel. <laughs> Is that do more or less damage? Yeah. Oh, oh, that could be equipped? Oh. Sure, why not? I just realized I should hit the best option. Oh, oh wait, the rich is better than the guy. I'm not sure I agree with that, but all right. I mean, raw damage turns, but I can shoot the guy and mean... kill. Like, I can cheese the <laughs> fuck out of this Megan if I'm smart, for instance. Um, using the gun. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I'm, I was just told. To, I was just told, by the way. I was just tutorialized to do some crafting. So, uh, surgical kit. Okay, I can. It's a pine cones, really. Yeah, like I got turned by of card by turns uh, the, the streamable parts. Of it. I guess I should be not surprised that there's a mod that makes it that turns the game streamable. Pine cones, amazing. <laughs> um, is there a charm or abstract? It's charm. Charm. I don't think abstract could stream. Okay, finally I can heal her now. Clean so up I'm your face. There. Okay. Um, now, let's see. I need to be very smart about this, because that Omega will attack us otherwise. So I need to... Whoa, fucking... Oh, oh no. Oh, no, 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 oh, Yep. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck. It's... Damn, it's smart. <laughs> 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 oh, it's... Oh, damn, I was hoping it would keep following me. All right. Uh, what button is shoot? That one, yeah. <laughs> I'm wasting ammo, but it's fine. I need to remember what... There are three buttons to attack with, depending on what character has the gun. Come on. It must be attracted to the psychosis of nature of the logbook or whatever it is. Aha, uh -huh. yep. Doorways, yes. how do they work? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I'm not crazy! I definitely saw the soul turn of that nasty thing! What the fuck are you talking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> Craziness aside, what do you mean? <laughs> this is quite possible here, and I'm afraid it's going to get more interesting. Want to resurrect? You said all creatures will eventually materialize again. No, it won't, or at least not now. At least not until the next outbreak, and they don't happen that often. We'll either be dead or far away by then. <laughs> what? How optimistic. What's that outbreak? I'll explain later. Let's hurry. That's interesting, but won't we die of hunger, though? Fear and hunger. No. <laughs> 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 Definitely not. <laughs> Um. This all right, no, everything. So you wanna you want my prediction? Her random ass comment was something that happened in battle with the creature, but because I didn't enter in battle with the creature, I didn't see whatever event she's referencing. Mm -hmm. No, because I, I didn't. Know what I, happened? There was a stool in that room, and it turned into a leech. Oh, did it? I was. I'm not very observant, it, so I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Fair enough then. So, okay, we're mixing in a little bit of that. What was that one game where... Prey? No. What was that one game that released uh, a few years back where there was, the main enemy was a thing that, like, oh, no, that coffee cup on the table, it could just, like, shift, and now it's like that thing is jumping at you. What was that game? You, I'm sure somebody knows what I'm talking about. It's a game where, where random hey. objects could be enemies. It was a remake of something. I hmm. forgot the name. The story so far is... It, it, it is Prey. Okay, I was right. Prey. Wait. Oh, no, I walked into a blast of wind. is basically... trying to get beer, so he's attacking us. Is that a hand? Okay. <laughs> what do you mean it respawned? Fuck you. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's okay, I can fight the hand out of combat. I think it died. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. Where is it? But then again, this hand never fed us, so... It's gone. Also, oh, I hate that. Died. Like, I stepped on the big thing that take, does a lot of damage and it re-fucking spawned one second later. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> fucking jerk. Alright, um... Let's see some more Chiffer. Her oh. energy is important. Oh. Even if it hurts her. Overall, that was a net worth win, so. Um, let's see. Black caviar, full of vitamins. Materialization endowed it with the best properties. I'm glad that it materialized then. I'm glad I'm not Thank eating ghost caviar. Oh, it does, it restores energy, does it? Okay. 
Yeah, I could have mentioned that. It wasn't very fucking clear. I like how these descriptions, by the way. Yeah, Remember, actually, you can... Yeah? You can see on the stats, I think. Look at, look oh, at the Oh, that's true. I'm not reading that. Okay, fair enough. That's yeah. true. Okay, okay. Now I understand. All right, so. <laughs> okay. It, like, it basically says in its own broken English way. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay, there we go. Everybody's, for the moment, topped off. By the way, I'd like to know, like, I don't seem to have the autopsy option for whatever the fuck I just shot. It died in the doorway, so we can't see it, but I totally did die there. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. Maybe you have to actually be in a battle? You know, I didn't act... <sighs> if you're wondering what happened there, it's because there was a... There's actually a little bit of input lag. Uh, RPG Maker can be a little leggy sometimes. <laughs> and that just happened. Alright, so... It does say this is supposed to stop... Oh, it's not bleeding! It's a different stats. Also, thank you, Nano! Okay, I'm just gonna let people thank bleed you, out. Nano. It's fine. Ah, that's the room I was in earlier. <laughs> Everyone just... There's a walking, by the way. I guess I'm supposed to walk to be more careful. Search for kit. Well, let me just make more surgical kits, I guess. So those are what actually fix the problem. Yeah, this seems like a fun game where I'm constantly in the menu trying to fix stuff that easily happens to me. <laughs> it's good times. Do better. I'd like to note, too, that I still need... I also need to give her more energy somehow. Uh, do I have anything else that can give energy? I guess coffee? Yeah. Significantly restore power. 20. It's not really that significant, but I'll take it. Significantly. I mean, that depends on localization, because in certain countries, uh, blood and wound is the same thing. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I, I mean, the damage over time these areas do makes you makes it so you do want to rush technically, but I don't know. It's just not a very fun gameplay mechanic. Like, oh, you gotta be careful, move slowly, or you'll blunder into things and take massive damage. It's like good gameplay. I enjoy that. <laughs> it's very fun. <laughs> we I get to see less content in our time. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go deliver the alcohol. Something about bleeding Let's and laceration. Let's go to edgy dude. True, but like, <laughs> hold on. Item skills. Okay, so when people have no, but it's just icons. The bleeding icon is different from the uh, laceration, as we'll call it now. I said, but there's no way. Like, no, you know, one thing that's missing in this that a lot of RPG Maker games have status, and it's not formation. Formation is this status is basically something where you can see more details about your character status, basically. And that would be very useful, considering we're just dealing with icons, and I, I don't always know what the icons mean. So a status menu that lets me know what the icon means, that'd be actually very good. So I was, like, wasting stuff earlier, because I was trying to repair lacerations when I was only able to heal bleeding with what I was doing. That's what the first aid and stuff, I was the, the badges and stuff, they are meant to heal bleeding, not lacerations. That's different. But I didn't know that. Fucking great! Just what I need! It's a bit better, but I'll do. Fucky slaves, time to get out of here. See you later, losers. I like how he's like super crass. Oh, those guys are just like all fours walking. Okay, but he just calls us losers like he's fucking Gary from Pokemon. See <laughs> <Hey. laughs> you later. Stew, coffee cloth, coconut condensed milk, extra chance, extra chance. What the fuck's extra that? Extra chance. Did I get a one up? Guessing that they revive. Extra chance. Strange luminous lottery ticket. Extra chance. Works like a glowing book. Disposable. Works like a glowing Wait! book? The, the, it's, a, it's a mobile. It's the logbook. It's a save point. I can use it to save anywhere. 
But again, why aren't the characters just picking up the logbook? They didn't say, like, strange, I can't remove her from the table or anything like that. It's just they didn't decide to pick up the logbook. So they have to use portable, disposable tickets to save instead. Because why not? Oh my god. Oh look, I have I have the ability to see things. What the? Oh. Alright, bye. Whoop, that's fine. Oh man, I love running away from babies while also dealing with anomalies. <laughs> so much fun. I'm just getting hurt to where we... Also, these trees were poorly scaled up. Look how pixelated they are. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot the rat guy from like really far away. I assume I'm capable of this. Hold on. Okay, well, at least he's shot a lot, right? Yeah, I think I beat him up a bit. Imprinted man grows into Just like shoot his head or something. I don't know. Wait, hands or body? Okay, it's body then. Shoot his torso. I shot him a lot. <laughs> Haha! -ha. Oh no! He yeah, actually, wait a minute. Look at how this combat looks. It is fear and loathing. It's a similar animation, similar style. They are just wanting to do a fear and loathing game. We. And then also the locational damage is like fear and loathing, where you can like can attack the arms and rip off the arms. Probably there. Just dead. Oh my god! It is. This is <laughs> furry fear and loathing. Oh my god. Which makes me scared, actually. Because, <laughs> like, oh, no. for loving is demonetizable. <laughs> so, I know. Uh, okay, hold on. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's gonna move down? No, no. Hold on. He's gonna move down. Let's wait for it. Yes, Fear and Hunger, we know. We're in Fear and Hunger. Sorry, Fear and Loathing is a book. My bad. <laughs> fear and Hunger at home. Fur and Hunger. <laughs> fur and Hunger. Fur and Hunger. He's dying now. One second. He, he, he doesn't notice I I attacked him from a distance. I thought that would alert him. No. He didn't even notice. Because I wasn't close enough to actually alert him. So I can prefer more off tops. If this is... I'm not sure. This might actually be sort of an interesting game. But I don't really care for its style, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, I'm not sure that... I'm not sure if Fear and Hunger was a game I'd want to play either. Marta no longer feels tired. Uh, autopsies do wake autopsies do wake you up, I guess. Wait, yeah. she was tired? I guess. I don't even know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> yeah, Fear and Hunger is an interesting game. I've done a little I've learned a few things about it, but I honestly would say that it's a game that's not for me. I don't think I'd enjoy playing it, you know? Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, fur and, hung fur and Hunger, if you're interested, guys, this game. I mean, I do like that I can shoot enemies out of combat. That's kind of neat. But so could you in Fear and Hunger. So you can do that in Fear and Hunger, okay. I kind of yeah. figured you probably could, but I wasn't sure. So I just, like, wander around and die, I guess. Does fear, does, does fear and Hunger have a lot of... We have no reason to go in the living sector for now. I agree, we should just die. <laughs> um, does Fear and Hunger have a lot of... Oh, you walk over this and just take damage? Out of curiosity? Uh, no. It's better than that. There we go. <laughs> It has I, only, I think, like, one account of that happening, and I forgot when. Four stab is just something you have to do very carefully. Oh, there's a hand. Hold on. Hold your, hold, hold on to your hands. Or something. <laughs> Wait, can I shoot her through the I tree? Hold on. They, You notice how they can see me through the tree? Makes me wonder if I can shoot him through the tree, or through an object. Let's see. Does it have collision? Let's check. Does it? Does the does the shot even care about collision? I gotta wait for it to get into some collidable area. Yeah. You definitely hit it. Hand. I bet you it doesn't check. I bet I could stand behind this van and shoot it.
Also, by the way, in a game where I can aim and shoot and stuff, you'd think that there would be a way to s s change directions without moving, but there isn't. That seems like something you really need. Alexander feels oh, very tired. Good for him. do that right, though. Like, this is a game where, like, if I want to face an enemy, I have to walk towards them. I can't just turn on turn my step, which is, in my opinion, very dumb. Perfect. Damn it. Yep. Ha ha ha! Yep! We Dead. <laughs> Either dead or I ran out of ammo. <laughs> yep, doesn't even check. Doesn't even check for objects. I didn't think so, but I wanted to know. <laughs> Try to pick a lock. To, to pick a lock. Hmm. That's a better. That's a very philosoph philosophical way of putting it. <laughs> to pick a lock. To or pick not a lock, pick or lock. Not to pick. Hmm. I guess I will. How's five B first part? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. I don't know what to say about this game. It might actually be kind of interesting, but my goodness, it seems kind of miserable. Uh, I guess you <laughs> can use it. There you go. Same feeling I had after that book. I feel calmer. That's good. Uh, are you going to be less tired now, hopefully? So, so yeah, I, this safe. isn't for me. If you like Fear and Hunger, maybe take a look at this one. Because it definitely seems to be doing that. I wouldn't say it's doing it as well, though, because it has a lot of force damage and stuff. Kind of feels a little bit bullshit. I assume Fear and Hunger also felt a little bit bullshit, though. I know that game is not easy. It's probably a game you're supposed to play multiple times to actually, like, figure it out properly and play it well, I assume. But at least you haven't lost any limbs. I did not lose any limbs. To be fair, that's mostly because I avoided combat by cheesing it. Um, by direct combat. Um, <laughs> I'm, I did run out of ammo doing that, though. But if I can find more ammo, then that might be a viable strategy for this game. Um, but yeah, materials no, should... Of memories. What a weird... It wants to be Fear and Hunger. But also, it's doing Eastern Bloc, Slavic kind of vibes, and has anomalies. So it's also going to be Stalker. Shadow, Shadow of Chernobyl. So it's a weird Fear and Hunger plus Stalker plus Furry. And I'm not really sure what to say about this blend. I feel like this is like mixing orange juice and cocoa pebbles. Somebody might enjoy that. But I think I'd just <laughs> rather have milk. <laughs> Uh, but I think it's a good summary for this. That was materialization of memories. Um, I appreciate the developer for reaching out and giving me a key. I, I mean, it was accurate. I do cover furry stuff, and they so they reached out because I cover furry stuff. And fair enough. I don't mind covering this a little bit. I don't know if I want to keep playing it. But simply letting other furries know that this exists, yeah, I'm fine with that. So you might find a particular flavor out of this that you enjoy. But I feel like it's definitely not for everyone, but maybe some people would enjoy it. That was materialization of memories. Hey, poopy. Yeah.